my horse. Okay. Oh my, that was quick. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here, and I uh, want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving as we start a fun new acrylic painting, something for the holiday season. Um, we've got something really exciting to show you. There'll be some giveaways of not only the painting I'm doing uh, today, uh, the step-by-step -step tutorial, but um, we have some uh, uh, a new paint kit we're giving away and something else. Wait till you see it. Um, I can't wait to tell you about it. I just love it. I can't wait to tell you about it. Yeah, well, okay. So <laughs> Okay, we... wait, 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 wait. What? Let's wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving in the U.S. and a happy Thursday to everybody else, except those people that it may be Friday, too. Oh, yeah. Two, two. <laughs> wow. Well, somebody wrote the other day, John, that, um, you know, they were looking at, uh, I think, Monday night's cute acrylic painting with a kitty, which has already been mailed off to the winner of that, I might add, yes. and made the comment, this is, an, um, Thanksgiving is, and they put in big capital letters, an American uh, holiday, like, like you're not thankful for something, you know what I mean? You don't have to have a holiday to tell you to be grateful or something. You know what? Whatever the day is, we're very thankful for you guys. Absolutely. We Without appreciate you, the fact we wouldn't even bother doing these shows. Yeah, yeah. So we're I mean, thankful for line, you, and we're we're excited to be here. We're thankful for the fact that YouTube provides a platform for us to teach acrylic painting and for and for a way for us to show you um, some things about acrylic painting you never even thought of before. In ways to get to, you know your skills up, we get to tell you about our art academy and what that's about, and and um, all kinds of stuff. In a, you know, not too long ago, it cost money just to talk to someone ten miles away on the telephone. I know some of the younger people are going, no, no way, dude, <laughs> oh, that's, that's just so not silly. possible. Oh, dude, surely not. I'm going, oh yeah, man, just uh, uh, just saying. So this is oh, really oh, that is so true. That this is, so is true. an amazing technology and. Um, you'll notice I have on the on the table here. I've got I've got my we paints out. Got right. my paints out. This is the Salvador kit I'm using. But we will be besides the painting today, um, giving away to some lucky audience. Well, we're not doing it. Salvador is. Um, we're giving away this uh, wonderful 24 color Salvador paint kit. This is all together. And then and it comes with the the 24 tubes of paint plus an extra large white plus. A sponge plus a palette and twelve brushes. Mm. And a cartridge and a pair of trees. And there, and there's some coupon, uh, uh, discount coupon codes in our description below that give you actually more money. So the retail on this is somewhere around twenty-five on Amazon. If you go to our Amazon store. Well, I think right now they have it at twenty, and then you to apply the twenty-five percent discount, you get it down to like fifteen, sixteen bucks. Yeah. So I mean, people say, well, you know, look, uh, and we're going to talk more about that, but that's something that we're doing. We also. Um, I uh, want to thank all our auction uh, winners who participated in our auction last month. We really appreciate month. that. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you very thank much. You, thank you, and those who, who could, could be caught part of the legacy, the ginger, and got some ginger cook, you know, paintings, and a lot of them went out. I think that was pretty fantastic. And we had three and, three people go for the five year membership. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting too, right? So, uh, what are you doing with the what's with the six by eight and the eight by ten? Well. I'm confused. What are we doing tonight? Well, we're, what I'm going to give, we're going to do an 8 by 10 uh, a painting, all right? 8 by 10, but we're going to give away this one, all right? This that is, is going to be. That's a pretty painting, just like it is. Yeah, this is a, one oh, of John's underpaints. So we're going to give away something here, but we're going to be painting this. And this is an 8 by 10 canvas. It's got. So you're using a two for today. Yeah, get a twofer. So you're going to see a twofer. A it's twofer this on a Thursday on a turkey day. I'm telling you what, right? I, there is nothing but the giving today. Um, isn't it true? It isn't is it so true? true. And I'll give you a hint. This is what we're going to be painting. Uh, these kids looking out the window with the Christmas tree at, you know, maybe Santa. I she think that's charming. And you you could, um, you know, you get, in the photograph, it was two girls, but you could just change the hair. You know, kids at a certain age, you could be anybody. You could make <laughs> your grandkids, your kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. it can't be anybody. <laughs> can't that's be that's anybody. the nice thing about kids, particularly when you they paint them. They can be anybody. Yeah, and if you're if you're one of these artists that um, you know is fortunate enough to have a, some uh, collectors that collect your artwork, and you have an audience for that, here's a hint: when you paint kids, like at the beach or something, do them from behind because they're either going to be blondes or brunettes or redheads or something. And at a certain age, they can be anybody's kid. And 
People don't generally want to hang strangers in their house, but if it could be their grandkid, or this just looks like Chucky when he was that age or whatever, right? Um, you're much more likely to find a home for that painting, and you know, just saying. So that's just a little tip, okay? That's um, tip number one of the day. And we'll be doing more tips, and I'm going to tell you, we've got the best color mixing tips ever. Wait till you hear about those. I, I, I am on pins and needles. I know. So I've got a... Um, How uncomfortable is that? Um, I don't have a, a sheet big enough here. What happened to my transfer sheets here? Because you don't, we don't do 8x10s. Well, we don't. I guess I could put these together Oh, that like white that. one? No, 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 no. My queen, please, please. But you please, can see how used this is. John's going to give me a new one. Give I me a new one. blue one. Yeah, uh, I have no, blue, have so blue. how about white? How about white or yellow or anything or. that would be lighter than this? <laughs> the dark background, yeah? Let's use one of these new folded ones they've given us now. Oh. See yeah. how that works for you. Okay. No trimming. Just leave it like it is. Okay. This is how they're doing them now. Okay. This is how the Sorrel transfer sheets are coming, just like this. So uh, with a big crease in the middle. How fun is that? Okay. Well, it shouldn't matter. I guess But that's what they're doing. All right. So I'm going to line it up on this edge as we trace this on. And I uh, want to mention something like that's to coming mention. up. A lot of questions have come up on Facebook. If you're, uh, we have a really cool Facebook club. It's the Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. If you haven't joined, we said we invite you to join. It's really fun and it's free, and um, you know, we love to see what you're painting. And um, incidentally, um, uh, you know, if you're doing any of my daughter's paintings, uh, you know, uh, Cinnamon's the Art Sherpa, you know, you can post those too on in our club. And um, and we're going to at the um, you get kind of interesting announcements. I mean, if you don't, I know a lot of people just quite frankly hate Facebook, and for whatever reason. And we're not, you know, we're just saying just have a just join so you can join our club. You don't have to look at the rest of it or hear anything else about Facebook that that's something yeah, that something you don't like. We have like. a lot of people that do that. They just created an account. They keep it private, and they just come to our yeah, they our, just come our, to, our place. Yeah, they just come to our place, and and that's fine too. You know, there's nothing. Uh, wrong with that, and and it's and it's interesting. Like for instance, today you may not know it, but um, my daughter Cinnamon will be after our show airs today. She's going to be on Facebook doing a, um, a some sort of live Thanksgiving thing on her Facebook thing, and and on her Facebook she, and page. On her Facebook page, and she's got um, John. will put we'll put the links in there. The, the end of the, the show. Look. I got the link to the one thing. Yeah, the one thing, and there's a giveaway. They're doing a fabulous giveaway too, today. And um, and to enter, apparently, you can either send in either a picture that I have done, that you have done of mine, either on YouTube or in our academy, or um, one of hers. So we encourage that you to put one of ours in because ours are better. Uh, John, I can say that, right? You can't say that, John. Oh. I know you want to say that. <laughs> Well, at least we're just talking among ourselves. Yeah, well, that's right. Because, I mean, you know, it's so funny. Like, when Cinnamon, when, I'm the, when she was like five or six, we went to a baby shower. And she was old enough to, to, to let the kids come, right? So she goes to this baby shower. And um, she says, our, open our present first because it's the best one. See? <laughs> the kid knows what she's talking about. That's what she said. She said, open ours first. It's the best one. Don't you love kids? They're so... Funny, because of course, there's no filter on that mouth. There's no filter, and honestly, honestly, why wouldn't they think whatever they were giving was the best one? If there was a better one, why wouldn't they be doing that? Yes and yes. Absolutely. And um, that's what I would say. They would be thinking it was that. Yes. So um, anyway, that was so funny. When you're doing straight lines, are you you're using a? I hope you're using a T square. And that they, these are, you can find these little, I like the clear ones. And um, because they're, you can kind of see where you've, you've been and, and how to line it up. And um, and I would invite you to, to um, you know, they're like four or five bucks. So you can get them on Amazon, but you can find them easily in our store. And for, if you're doing small stuff, they're fine. If you're doing big stuff, this is where you use your discount coupons. Did you know that? I never see T squares like the really good big ones go on sale. No. They never do. So if if, if you're going to Hobby Lobby or one of those places and and they've given you a twenty or forty percent coupon on anything, buy a T square. Buy a really good T square, and um, you know that that's uh, 
that's that's key here and uh, uh, anyway that's anyway that's my that's just my second or third tip there's some good ones aren't there aren't you amazed at how many good ones there are yes and yes This is interesting. The perspective changes on these windows. So if you're freehanding this in, I want you to know that the uh, the crossbars on these windows are going up, and then this one's like practically level. So the perspective is really changed on this. Don't be misled. Oh my gosh, you could be misled. Yes. Oh, that's impossible. Well, you could be, and you don't want that to happen to no, you, right? No, absolutely not. So uh, you don't want that to, you know. So we have any questions here, John? Why I'm happily... Um, uh, I'm not sure. Mine says I'm offline even when I'm watching it go. and I don't see any questions. Oh, Ginger's looking great today. Thank you. All right, now this is where you can do any kid. If you want to make it a guy, you can have his collar come up around here so you still wouldn't... You just wouldn't give them long hair. Does that make sense? I'm going to give her a ponytail. I'm going to do the two girls. Um, because my sister was three years older. So this is something we might have done. Um, how's that? I think, I think this is, uh, this is kind of possible. We might have done this. And, uh, and let's see, let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm, um, I'm painting here. And then there's a little place where her, see her hands up by her face, and same with his, his little hands up by his face, her face. Your yes face. and yes. Her face, all that face. And, um, I, I think it's. I think this is sort of fun, don't you guys think so? I thought this was cute. I thought that this could be, um, the traceable will be available. How soon can Chucky get the traceable on this page? Oh, it should be up tomorrow sometime. We'll have it tomorrow, and on our uh, Beginner Acrylic Academy website. I know the tree goes here, so I'll just maybe do something like that so that I'm not confused about where some of the balls go. But just to um, give me a... a, a reference here. Let's see, how did we do? Did we get that pretty well put in there, didn't we, you guys? Hey, we have Turkey in the house. Yeah, that'd be Denise. Denise from Turkey. Oh, <laughs> well, there. Can't have a now Thanksgiving without Turkey. There you go. Hi, Denise. Uh, all right, so I'm going to... There you go. That's, there she is. There she goes, friends. So that's on there. It's 9.45 in Ireland. In the, like in the morning or like at night? No, that'd be p.m. Night. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can see I'm going to put, I have this also on my iPad so that I can get, get this uh, easily done, right? Now, I know I put that on there straight. So why is my building sideways? Put your T-square on it again. Let's take a look. It's not. Straight. It's, it's straight. straight. But boy, it sure looked crooked to me, didn't it, when I was looking at it? Well, because the windows are crooked. You know, well, the, what if we made the windows straight? No, no, you can't because you are on a slight angle to that, to the window pane. Uh, well, okay. No, that's right. You're right. Paint. You're ready to paint. Start painting. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't know, You're right? starting to overthink don't, this. Don't yeah, overthink yeah, this. Don't overthink it. Well, I mean, this happens. This could happen like due to anybody, right? Jamie would like to know, Ginger and John, you have any Thanksgiving dinner? Yes, we will have dinner today. Absolutely. Yeah, well, John will make dinner after. We're not doing a big production. Um, it's just no the two of us. No big production. We're not, doing a, we're not doing a big production, but we're happy to do something. How's that, right? Now, one of the things I'm going to do, in, in the picture, they had um, the photo, the actual photo, which I have up. Get this out of the way. I think I have here. So right, like, in here, there was, like, a moon. And the reason we want that is so you can see Santa. Because otherwise, I mean, how could you see Santa? Yes. Hello, it's Judy from Florida. So there's uh, Santa. Santa's going to be in the moon. So we're going to uh, do that. Oh, do you, um, 
Uh, Judy Guitar, one of our moderators, sent us some fabulous M&M candies. Oh, look, I candies, even got mine here. Uh, candies with our names on them and everything. Names and face and stuff. <laughs> everything. Thank you, Miss Judy. So thank you. The stuff the staff right. and I are enjoying them. All right, so I'm going to put out the titanium white. Now, we've got the, the Salvador paints. We've got pretty much all of the colors out, which is what we did. We just put them all out. Well, what I did, right? Because I wasn't sure. I mean, why, let's be the last of the big spenders on this. We put them all out. Um, I think I'll start with the background first, but let me just, um, you know what, I don't want to lose my person. So I'm going to take some what I call primary magenta, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint over this figure right here, because she's got a red um, shirt on, and I'll just kind of block her in. What do you guys think? Just so we don't want to lose her, right? And so we're going to block that in right now. At least um, we 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 lose the the momentum of that, and she's got a red shirt on too. Let's start with the vermilion on this one, and um, uh, she's got a little plaid shirt on, but uh, we can we can work on that. Here's her shoulder up here like this, and um, comes down here like that. So we're just, just going to put this in here like that. And, uh, and I think her, we'll just take a little bit of this uh, Naples yellow red and put a little bit here on the side of the face. There you go. Just so we, you know, we don't want to lose that. And then let's take a little bit of the yellow oxide and just come on up here and do her hair. Just sometimes you just need to have something down there. Does that make sense? Uh, then you then you feel all confident that you haven't lost it. And let's give her some reddish brown hair. I um, think that would be nice, right? Just brown hair like this. And uh, there we go. All right, so I've kind of got that. A little bit of the Naples yellow, and there's a little bit where the hand goes right here. Okay, so that's kind of... Kind of block them in. Now I now I'll feel better about putting in the uh, the moon thing. So I'm going to get some white now. My the moon thing. The moony thing here. Yeah, let's get some thing. white and let's put a little bit of Naples yellow deep in that. You don't want it white white, but we want to say that there's a uh, a moon up here, full moon. Then we're gonna. Just put that up there like that. There we go. Just there we go. Something like that. That 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 looks good to me. Yeah, you guys too. Yeah. Okay. That was perfect. And then as long as I was in the red colors, well, I wasn't, but I was, wasn't I? Wasn't I in the red colors? You were in the red let's colors. Let's take the let's take a little bit of primary magenta and a tiny bit of ultramarine blue and make a darker color. Just you know, you could make like a deep red. And let's just come on up here and paint the curtains. All right. Yeah, I know you all thought this was going to be terribly difficult. You saw this and goes, oh, no, she's not doing that. That looks hard. But, you know, let's just get the mindset that it's not going to be hard. It's just going to be step-by-step -step simple, right? So let's get your mindset that it's let's simple. Just, let's let's go, go for simple and easy, right? So we've got that, um, got that there and a little bit of the... A little bit of the permanent violet here. Let's make this one a little darker. Here we go over here, and a tree, trees going here. Yes and yes. Okay, and this is coming. Oh, you see a little of that. We'll we'll put a little of that going down here like that. We know the tree is going to come through here. Red's one of those colors. Here's your next tip. Red's one of those colors that needs like th two or three coats to really look red. Um, otherwise, it just doesn't. It just doesn't want to um, do its thing here. And I'm going to take a little of this color down here and just put it down here where the wood is. These guys are. So, and uh, you don't really see it over here, I guess, too much like that. All right, so I'm putting that down, and then they've got the windowsill. In the photo, that was kind of, kind of a purple windowsill. I, I think I want it... Um, 
kind of a pink color, I think, but um, I want to do the do the um, the sky first. Yeah. We have a question here from a new viewer. Yeah. What I'm, I'm assuming this is what they want to know. What type of brushes do you recommend to use with acrylics? Um, you know, that's a really good question because acrylics in general, acrylic brushes. Here's the secret: they need to be synthetic and they need a bit of a spring to them. And it's very hard if you don't know specifically to buy something online because in the art store you can go around and go ping, ping, you know what I mean? You can't do that online. So then you have to just take our word for what we use. And um, uh, I really like the Ruby Satin Silver. That's the root satin. Uh, silver is the name of the brush company. And the Ruby Satin Silver short handled angle brushes are some of my favorite. And also they're long handled bright brushes. I really like those a lot. And for detail work, I like the set of, um, there's a set of these very inexpensive Addies. in our store. Addies, ADIs, I think. Addies, and they really, they're not very much. The problem with little tiny detail brushes is they don't last very long. And in you know, all the years I've been painting, which is a lot, you go through those for whatever reason. And these have held up and hold a point longer, so I like those. And the other thing I like are the Posca pens, because that's real acrylic paint in a pen, doesn't dry for a while. You put it on, make a mistake, you can take it off. And um, the um, you can do, also do some fine detail with, a, say, a Posca pen that you couldn't possibly maybe do that well with an, another one, right? Does it make, yes and yes. And your other question right now would be, what's the best chalk pencil? Um, the Geo, Geo something. Well, I just used one, didn't I? That's why it came up. Oh, we these really are nice. I've tried all of them. And um and, and this is the the anacondas, soft not an pastel, anaconda. huh? It's not an anaconda. That's is a it? snake. Oh. They're geo something. Geoconda. Well, it's close. Geoconda, <laughs> soft pastel. <laughs> it's either a snake or a pencil. I'm not sure. No, well, you can remember because it's like a snake, but it starts with the C, <laughs> like for a G for ginger. Geoconda, yeah. like Ginger's recommendation. So it's like a snake with the Geoconda, right? And you can buy just the white ones, or you can buy a whole set of the others, all the colors. But John will tell you that probably 99% of the time I use the white ones. So I'm going to put some uh, some blue up here for our window. And uh, we're going to just kind of be, we're going to paint each little pane here. And then we're going to take... Oh, um, isn't that a pane? Yeah, that's a pain. And then I'm going to take a little dark blue and put in there at the same time a little bit of that purple color and kind of stomp that in. Do you like that? I see you stomping that in. I'm stomping that in. So we want, maybe we'll put the primary cyan on one side and the ultramarine blue on the other. Oh, good. And let's try that. Did that work? Oh, gosh, it did. Look at that. So we got the, kind of sneaking around here like this. Because we don't want it just one color, and you can even have some of the other colors showing through. Kind of a brighter window. Let's put a little bit of permanent violet with our ultramarine blue and see what we get in there, too. I want some of this a little darker. Okay, look down here and a little bit of primary cyan. Kind of painting around here like that. It's like kind of fun though, right? Just this. Um, were you guys, John? When you did Christmas, did you do? Um, did you open your presents in the in the morning or the oh, at, at night? Morning. Morning, right? Christmas, Christmas morning. morning, right? We did usually you, got one when we went to bed. One present. Yeah. Typically a stuffed animal. Okay, when you went I don't know why. See, it started... See, I always had my stuffy staff through my entire life. So they just knew to keep collecting yep. for you. Yep. Yeah, it's so funny because I collected them too. Isn't that funny? When I was a kid, I collected them too. And uh, John and I both remember going to the department stores down there, and the big department stores, and the, the Steiff Company, which is a company out of Germany, is like world famous for their stuffed animals. And um, uh, there's a little bit of blue violet in here too. Um, and there, um, we would do. Um, 
we would look at those. They had like life-size lions and giraffes and everything. I mean, it was so cool. And, you know, the, the, the toy, seeing what the department stores used to do for uh, the holidays was just so way cool, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, now while that's drying, that's got to dry for a minute, okay? So I you're all with me on that. That's because I'm disconnecting today, even though I'm still watching the show. I don't know, John. It's always, it's, it, every time we do anything around here, it's such a mystery, isn't it? It really is. I guess I'm going to have to restart this guy, and then I'll be back. All right, so, we're gonna, so I'm going to paint something on here. I don't have any gray paper under it, and I don't think to mess up our nice thing. Do we have oh, any gray paper? No. John's going to get something for me to put under there so that I don't... This is just... A, this will clean off, but we've got... You notice how clean this is? John yeah, put I flipped a, it over. John flipped it over. <laughs> we have a really nice, clean one. I hate to just, you know... Can you have the ruffles at the top? I can have the ruffles at the top. That's fine. The little ruffles at the top. Okay, so here we go. So, let's... Um, as long as we have these colors out, right? Let's uh, let's just do something fun here, quick and fun while we're waiting for that to dry, as opposed to unfun and slow. What? I don't know. No. 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 Okay, staff members, slide over. That's. I like the background so much. I don't want to lose too much of that, John. Such well, a nice a little background. background. We'll just uh, put this in here like that. You guys can be wondering what we're going to do with it, but... I certainly do. It's all right. Just wonder away, darling. Well, wonder that's away. what I do best. Wonder away. anything over here? I give up. Did you miss anything? Is everybody hanging in there with us? Yeah, they're doing better than I am. Okay. Is there a difference between air drying and drying with the hair dryer? Oh, yeah. Do we do we seal our paint with the hair dryer? Well, look, it doesn't take very long to do it. I'm always touching it, you know. You can, you can, uh, I always put the hair dryer on. So important. Some of you, one thing I've noticed that the, a painting came into Facebook the other day and somebody asked her suggestions. And what I could see immediately was that from just looking at the painting, right, was this particular artist was having uh, trouble um, uh, with um, not drying their paints in between. So she wasn't getting pure colors. And, and that happens when, um, um, you you know, so you want to use the hair dryer. You can air dry too. I mean, that's fine. It's just you you most of you uh, need to dry more often, you know. And it's it's just you need a designated hair dryer, and you need to dry, absolutely need to dry more often. Okay, so I would say that that would be the the main thing that um, that would hit hit me for that. Um, there we go. Let's just make this a little darker here. I'm going to come up here, just all right, so that, that's probably pretty that's, good that's right there. That's a great beginning. It's a great beginning, right? I don't know. We're, we're just sort of ad-libbing there, but we kind of like it, so we're going to do that. Now let's come back to our, um, our, let's take some zinc white now, which is your transparent white. And come on over here now that we've let this dry. And going back to the hair dryer, there was a YouTube, another person, well, another company said you should never use a hair dryer on acrylic paints. And me being one that's always inquisitive, I contacted Golden and asked them, and they go, no, absolutely, you can use a hair dryer, and we recommend doing it. Yeah. But you don't want to use it on thicker paints because they need to dry from the inside out, and that's when you really have a very thick paint. You yeah. can skin over you know, it. You know, if you do like, if you do, um, 
You can skin them. Like, for instance, if you're doing adding mediums, like extra heavy gel medium to a paint, a hair dryer isn't going to do anything. You want to let that dry all, all, all on its own. Okay? So now one of the things I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to... Um, I'm going to do this, like so, then I'm going to take one and do this, like so, yes and yes, yeah, about like that, and um, uh, uh, let's see, what can I do in the beginning here, probably something like this, maybe. At least this much, yeah? Okay. So we're going to let toothbrush go. What we want to do is we want to create some stars and snow, snowy sky, right? So I'm going to wet a toothbrush, and I'm going to take a little white paint, put it up over here so I can squish it around. And I want to have something I can test this on. So let's do it on this one. Okay, that's working. I'm getting paint everywhere. Perfect. Yep, yep, yep. And now I'm gonna kind of come up here like this and try not to try not to move it. See what do I got that I can here? I can do this. All right, so we can do that, and we can do this. Yes and yes, that works, right? Okay. All right, that's a little wetter than I wanted, but that's all right. So then, uh, really going to do is work on this moon and make it kind of almost disappear. Okay, so now, yes and yes. Now this needs to... Um, I need to let that dry a little bit. That needs to dry. Yes and yes. See how we've got our, our snowy, you know, sorry, kind of our snowy starry sky here, right? It didn't get a lot on the curtains. And we didn't get a lot on the curtain. So we could have and it would have been okay. It wouldn't have been the end of the world if we did, right? No. Would that not have been the end of the world if we did? Okay. So now I might, might see what else I could do with this, right? Uh, let's take um, some little purple and blue. Come out here like this. You're going okay, so far so good, yes and yes. Just gonna. Mystery Animation says he got himself a glossy canvas, which I'm not sure. I bought a canvas and it's glossy. Could have been the gesso on it. Yeah, it depends on the gesso on it, but I would definitely use some sandpaper on it, get a little bit more of a surface to it. And worst case, you can re gesso it. That's unusual, and I would probably not buy that brand again. No. No, you don't want to buy that brand again. I think it would be probably the safest approach.
Well, this is still wet, so I'm able to blend in this um, lighter color here, right? I'm sort of having fun with that. All right, so that's that's the mystery painting. We don't know where we're going with that, so we're just going let that sit there, okay? And the mystery painting is the one we're giving away today. Yeah, it's mystery painting. We don't know what it's going to be yet. We're just going to keep playing with it. All right, so this is still a little wet, but I can still work on the curtains. So um, let's take a little bit of the primary magenta, come on up here like that, and give that another coat of paint. Now, if you wanted to, could you have put down a layer of white before you put on your first red? Yeah, could have. Now, but if you I really wanted I, to punch up your reds real quickly? Yeah, I didn't want to. I, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a little of this permanent violet. I, I didn't want these to be that bright, though. Right, right. So I could have done that. And a little bit of ultramarine blue here in the wet to magenta. Well, I know this one's in to a, put, in, This is going to be this, the folds in the curtains. This one's in a shading. Yeah, so this is kind of a dark. These, these kids aren't supposed to be up, you know. They're um, they're breaking curfew, for sure, right? Here's our dark, kind of our little shadows on our curtains, and uh, that's what we got there. And uh, um, let's see. I'm going to do, um, whoops, I needed to, now I'm going to rinse my brush because I need to go back into some brighter reds. Here's some vermilion, and you see that's a brighter red right there, do you see that? I'll put a little bit of this brighter red right here. So, all right, so we've got our curtains, and we can't do much with this till that dries, right? It's almost dry, but we got to let that sit there. So let's, let's take, we know we want some red on her sweater, so let's do that here, like that. Let's, remember I told you that red needed more than one coat? I do remember that. I just, yeah, just probably said it a bunch of times, and you're probably sick of all, all sick of me saying it, but that's, true and I want a little bit of a shadow here so I'll take that permanent violet do a little bit of a shadow maybe a little bit of the blue violet a little bit of a shadow right here beside of her and uh, there you go something like that and uh, there we go here and then this one it's a little darker over here so let's take some permanent red violet put that over here like that and then on this this one this is sort of fun. She's got a little plaid shirt on. So what would be the easiest way to do that? I'm saying we'll take a little bit of, we're going to take a little bit of um, zinc white, which is a transparent white. And I'm going to just do this where her sweater goes. Yeah, there we go because I want to do the plaid on there and that's going to make it a little bit trickier um, uh, if, if, if I don't have kind of a white base but it is a little bit darker right here on the inside of her sweater here so I'm going to say it's a little bit darker right there meanwhile back at the ranch is this dry yet? oh my goodness it is, isn't that great? you're going wow, how cool is that? That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Are you in my head again? I am. I am, right? So, um, uh, let's, uh, let's do, um, let's do some tape. Now, artist tape is something that just really is not expensive. Um, it's not, you can buy it on sale and maybe want to stock up, but tape ages. That's the next yeah, step. Yeah, it's one of those things Ta you really can't buy you, too much of it. Because it ages. And what happens is the older it gets, the stickier it gets. And this is designed not to pull your paint off, 
from underneath, okay? So when you put it down, it's called artist tape, and um, that's what this is designed to do. And um, so you wouldn't want to, you know, have a circumstance where you accidentally pulled your tape off. Pulled your paint off. Pulled your paint off when you're pulling your tape off. That would not be good, right? It would not be what you want to do. No. Now, we'll show you. Let's see, that's not going to work here. Let's pull it up, see? So hold it one end and pull it, right? Pull it and then lay it down, okay? And um, can you use tape over again? Yeah, you can. I used to have it hanging all over my studio. It's kind of funny, actually, because usually if you have painting on, when you overlap it, you just have one side where you painted it, right? So usually that side's still good. So there was a time in my life when I had paint hanging off the easels and all kinds of things. Now, this is called burnishing, where you take something like a back of a spoon or something like this. I call you, it squishing. Yeah, but squishing is good, too. All right, that squishing is good. So this is the our centerpiece like this. So let's let's try a, um, I'm using the same brush, but we'll try another one. I kind of like this sort of... Um, um, I don't think you can go directly to Amazon and then get to us without going through us to get to there. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the... I want to take some white and make this sort of peach color. And I kind of like this Naples... kind of like this Naples color all by itself. Maybe with a little white and a tiny bit of magenta. Okay, so we're just going to say that, that that's too close to the... That is too close a color to the... Um, uh, I'm not going to do that. So what color am I going to make that? What are you making? I think I'm, I'm going to, I guess I'll go purple then. I'm going to, I'm making the dividers here. I think I'll go purple. A purple violet. wall? Yeah, because it's in sh cast in shadow. Okay. It's cast hey, in it's shadow. Hey, it's your painting. That's You're exactly artist. right. Good to remember that, friend. It's your <laughs> design, kiddo. That's right. So a little bit of blue with that, but we're going to go ahead and say that this is our... Uh, if you do our website name, gingercooklive.gallery slash Amazon, that would take you to Amazon through our link, and we would greatly appreciate you doing that. Okay, so um, now the other, other one is right. Um, Can you use... Uh, Painter blue blue painters tape instead of the one ginger using. Uh, uh, try it and see. I I am not. Um, some people think you can. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, not getting too carried away with stuff. So maybe. Let's see. Let's try this again. John, when we go to Amazon through your store, everything we buy is credited to you. Yes. <clears throat> we get pennies on the dollar. Yeah, it doesn't like affect you guys at all, but it does, does help us, and we greatly appreciate it. Every little penny coming in does, does go to a worthy cause. See how that made the little straight up and down line? Aren't you guys going... I'm oh, impressed. Cool, dude. That's so neat. That is very straight up and down, too. It is. Um, I don't think I want this that wide. It was that wide. I think it's just. I think it doesn't need to be this wide. I think it could be about this wide. How's that? Okay. All right. So here we go with the next one. See, I need to actually make more color. All right, let's take a little bit of the blue in it, a little ultramarine blue in it.
See what I mean? When you see, we just used this one side. So technically, that side of the other side of the tape is still good. So you could technically just hang that somewhere, and then when that other blue paint dried, you could use it again. Yes, yes. So I mean, that's that's good to know, don't you think? My best friend's husband deep fried a turkey and set the house on fire. He had the fire close to the the fryer close to the house and dropped in a frozen turkey and flames shot up. Oh gosh. I bet you bet he wished he hadn't done that. <laughs> yeah. That's I wonder if does insurance cover the stupidity? I, I think it does. That's they should they should have a But did you ever hear the story about writer. the all right, so the true story about, you know, one of the biggest problems that airports have is uh, birds flying into the jet planes. That's true. And breaking windshields and stuff. So they were looking for some way to get better um, glass, right? Um, that would, um, uh, not break, you know, th so the windshield wouldn't break. So... They tested a bunch of, NASA tested a bunch of, well, that's, this should really be dry here before I try to put the tape on, oh, the yeah. middle one. But I'm, I'm doing the uh, Russian roulette tape, tape method. And it's smushing it down. And it's not working. So let's not do that. <laughs> that has to dry. Otherwise, you, you won't have a thin line, right? So that, but so far, aren't you kind of impressed with what we've got? I can do this one, though. I can do this line here. Because it's um, where it needs to be. Is this the the moon is dry? So anyway, the story goes that um, they had found just the right windshield material, and the, the, it was being test tested in the UK. And they wrote NASA and said it doesn't work. And they were they were um, they were f firing. Um, you know, grocery store chickens <laughs> at the, you know, at the <laughs> frozen at the, chickens. No, they were just just grocery store chickens at the, and they kept breaking their windshield. And they wrote back to NASA, and they said it doesn't work. And they said thaw the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, can't, you know, you can't you make up story. You can't make up stories like that. They're just so great, aren't they? They are. All right, you guys. I mean, it's hard to hard to get. Um, well, wait a minute. Salvador Paint Scent currently sixteen forty nine on Amazon. Before the discount codes are this and this, and you get another twenty five percent off. Ooh, we better go stock up ourselves. Oh my gosh, I guess they're so. They're giving huh? it away. They are. They're giving it away. Wow, that's not that just marvelous. Rumor has it they're going to be coming out with a larger set, meaning bigger tubes. That's they're rumored. Right. From my inside source. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, look, it's very hard to find. I've gone through, you know, I used to, I worked at Jerry's as an art teacher, you know, independent art teacher at Jerry's Artorama for, you know, about five, six years. And go in and, and I had permission to take any old piece, any of their paint off the shelf and just try it. See what it and do. I, I tried, uh, and I tell you what, there's a reason why I've come down to the acrylics I like. Um, Matisse, Golden, uh, sometimes Liquitex. Um, Holbein. Holbein. Those are quality paints that, that you know, and we'll see. I have generally eight colors I use plus two bonus colors, and I can mix all the colors, I promise you. All of these colors I can make, all right? But, um, uh, uh, but the, the what what my personal experience has been with inexpensive acrylics, right? Is uh, uh, with inexpensive acrylics is this is that um, uh, you don't get the bang, for, you, you just don't get the bang for your buck. It, it you know my some of my students would say, well your class is expensive, so I'm going to buy the cheap stuff. They just couldn't get it. You know, it it took it took it cost them so much more money to buy 
to buy to, the cheap to stuff. buy the cheap stuff and then try to get the you know layers of paint to get it. Frustrating felt that there was something wrong with them that they couldn't paint because if they could, they could have done this right. Does that make sense? And they just felt like they couldn't do it. And I would say the main reason was is that um, uh, they're. Um, uh, you got to start with the right stuff, and then so okay. So to start with all the all the colors that you would need, like your ten, you know, in small tubes. You don't have to buy the big ones. And by the way, it's actually we did a cost analysis. Holbein is actually less to buy than Golden in the long, even the same size too, ounce for ounce, which I thought it was more expensive, but apparently it's not. So anyway, um, it varies by color too. It's it's and it varies by color because one color it has more pigment in it than another. But anyway, when we did the cost analysis. To get started with all the all the professional tubes of paint, you're over a couple you're a couple hundred dollars and you haven't bought brushes yet. Okay? So if you're on a budget, you're first starting out, we think the Salvador paints are perfect for that. You know, twenty five dollars, you've got you got started, right? You're up and running because you have brushes, you got everything you need. Yeah, the and then you just buy some, you know, maybe some professional white and you're good to go, right? That's that's one of the reasons we're we're so fond of it. And um all right, so I'm waiting for that to dry, so I'm gonna work on her hair. A little yellow oxide here, and uh, for the golden locks, for our golden locks, and um, and I want some darker color with that too. So I'm going to put a little burnt umber with it because you you know blondes always have the little bit of shadow here. There's the shadow 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 part in here like this. Just uh, follow the uh, you know kind of her head like there you go, it's her head, and. Um, uh, Let's see, can I blow this up? And this was our br brunette here, so let's take some burnt umber and a little bit of carmine and make something very dark, and maybe a little ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Make this very dark. This is our, our gal with the dark hair. There we go, start that. You gotta start, you know, gotta start somewhere, right? And, and then we probably want um, something little, like, um, uh -oh. <gasps> look at that. It, it rolled off and didn't hit any of that paint. That's, wow, you are so I lucky. I should buy a lottery ticket. Then when that happens, that's what you know you need. So I'm going to take a little bit of this white and a little bit of the, um, this is one of the white brushes that comes with the kit, by the way, the whole the Salvador kit, this little black brush. And... Um, I want to do, a, see, I want a little bit, a little more orange in that. Okay, let's roll the brush. That's the other thing. When you're using a pointed brush, be sure to twist it and roll it. Okay. Let's make this a little bit warmer. Take a little bit of the carmine. There you go. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Part of her face is in shadow, so this part would be darker. A little bit of burnt, uh, burnt sienna. This is burnt sienna right here. Just come back here like that. And then here's her hand. And you just see the top of her hand here and you're going to see a little bit of an ear but her face is turned away and um, got a little light up here on the shoulder and there's going to be some just a little bit of light up here on her head right like that okay so she's looking up that way I thought you could do this because you guys don't really you don't really see the face on these you just see you know a little bit of an outline of the face on this, you just see a little tiny bit, and then maybe like part of the ear is showing, and then it gets down into this kind of darker color right here. Okay, and then she's got a little bit of a hand coming up here, like that. All right, so we're just we're just adjusting that. Now we can um, 
what we want to do for the for the blonde hair is to put here's this Naples yellow deep that's really nice let's come on up here with the some of this lighter color and uh, let's start off this way and then come back to something a little darker maybe just a little yellow and yellow ox yellow oxide or yellow ochre come over this way because we want it the lightest. Let's see, we've got a little zinc white on this. The lightest part of her hair is up here. It's coming down here like that. There may be some backlighting in the room, but basically you're not gonna. Not seen not a gonna, lot. You're not gonna see much of her hair because it's um. Uh, it's in shadow. So. Now I'll take another brush like this and just maybe soften that out and blend that in so it doesn't look like stripes. All right, so we've got a little bit of that and we'll come back later with more highlights. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, um, I'm gonna take the brighter red here, the vermilion. I'll come up here like this on her sweater and do that and then it gets very a uh, kind of a permanent violet it's very dark back here so doing that right back there and then she's got a little bit of the yellow in the vermilion just the primary yellow and for a little vermilion I want it she's got some sort of like little brighter thing here on the shoulder tapping back on this side in the photograph there's some sort of print here but I'm just gonna keep we're just trying to keep it simple right we're just saying that there's this gal and she's got it let's get it a little bit lighter up here on this shoulder too like that so what where the lights catching her now when you go over to the other kid she's got this um this striped um uh, uh, shirt on and so I'm gonna but it's not just you got to follow the look at the pattern because it comes over her shoulder like this and then let's see I'm gonna put a little white just miss this paint with a little bit of white and um, uh, so remember somebody's gonna win this painting today let's put a little bit of water in this stripe right the 8 by 10 no the uh, the little one not this painting, but the little one. Well, okay, the, uh, which we haven't done yet, but we'll have a painting giveaway and some paints, and we're doing giveaways. I guess that's the point I was making. See, so just did a little bit of a plaid a shirt on her, right? And as I keep coming back, we'll just. We'll just indicate that on this side too, sort of, um, let's take a little bit of the zinc white. Okay, so we got a little bit of a, little bit of a plaid shirt going here, not much, but you'll notice that we changed directions on the sleeve, kind of went that way. So if you're doing that, watch the direction of this, all right? Because that'll make you know that'll make a direct direction too. So we want to make that. Yeah, you want to you want to make it the look stripe, like two separate pieces. Otherwise, it won't look round. If you if you do this, if you don't have this cross things going this way, it'll just look like a you know look very flat, right? So you don't want that. No, no. So let's see a little bit of burnt sienna. Just glaze that over that ear. Whoops, something like that. Here we go. All right, so. Now then, we can be, so we're still working, this has had a chance to dry, yeah? So, um, let me show you, sure I have this, this sleeve right, I'm going to interbrace that right, right there, okay. So, let's do the up and down cross, oh, before we do the cross beam here, let's put Santa's sleigh in.
Oh, that'd be a good idea. So, um, and the reindeer. Yes and yes. So we happen to know where it goes. Yeah. Because we lined everything up with this corner. Yeah. Remember? We lined this whole thing up with the corner. But what's the difference? Can't put white over that, can we? Well, you can. It'd be too very hard to see. Well, you wouldn't see it. But, I mean, I know that I line this painting up with the corner, so I will just... Grab you a little piece of blue. Grab a little piece of blue. I mean, there's no sense in making life hard, right? I don't want to make it, you know, you don't want to play anymore, because I wish you made it too hard. So, I had a piece of blue. But I wonder what I did with it. I had a little piece of... Did I have some blue out? You had blue and a white. I, I, I know I did. Do I have to come over there? Yeah, you do. In the meantime, I'll set do this up. Do I have up. to stop this car? Yeah, stop this car. Yeah, come on over. Do I have to, can you remember that? Do I have to stop this car and talk do, to you? Do I, need to, do I need to pull over? All right, so now, yeah, so this is perfect, right? Got yellow. All right, just, get, just give me a little piece of blue, would you? Just let's... Let's move on. Right, but John's finding the blue. I will work on this. John's finding the blue, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to work on this. I'm just, oh, whoops, it fell. Well, all right, now I'm, now I'm distracted, yes? <laughs> squirrel. Now I'm kind of squirreled, yeah? Uh, now I'm definitely squirreled. Well, that's all right. Um, uh, Oh, I'm definitely squirreled. Which is okay, right? Definitely squirreled here. That's all right. Okay, so far so good. Cindy got two Salvador paint kits for just over 20 bucks using the two codes. Really? I mean, that's, that's pretty good, you guys. I'm telling you, that's, uh, I, I haven't ever seen it that well. have to definitely take advantage of that. I don't know how you did that. I, I'm amazed. But you know what? They're... Goldie says, Ginger, I'm loving both of your paintings. Are you? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's that fantastic blue background is what did it. I'm telling you what, right? I just sealed the deal there. My staff members. I'm still kind of... Chipper fell. Surely you shouldn't have pushed off Chipper. Oh, okay, I've got to change brushes here for a minute. Where did my other brush go? Here. So I have something in mind for this. I mean, it just sort of, um, I've got And I'm sure you have a reference somewhere, because you always paint from reference. I know, I always paint from reference. It's just, yeah, always paint from reference, absolutely. Who, you know. mm. Always you're painting from references, right? Good cup of tea. What's that? And I have a good cup of tea with my staff. Oh, John is, John's, John's discovered the, the ice buckets. Oh, I have got, you know, the studio is far from the kitchen. It's on the other side of the compound here. And I like to have my tea come up here all night working. So I couldn't figure out how to get my tea without having to go downstairs, my, my ice without having to go downstairs all the time. Yeah. So we found on Amazon... After much study, an inexpensive bucket, ice bucket, that keeps that ice 
for 15 hours. Is that right? 15 hours later, I still have ice in my bucket. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Well, yeah, I just was always going there because John's up all night and he's drinking the iced tea, which is probably what enough caffeine to keep you awake, right? Well, it's considering it's all caffeine free, it's all flowers and fruit teas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't think you don't attribute that to your um, uh, your um, Uh, your ability to, to stay awake, huh? No. You sure? Nope. Is that right? That's interesting, John. Doesn't phase. No, there's no caffeine. It's a fruit tea. This is raspberry. I'm having raspberry right now. Nice raspberry, blueberry combo. Excellent tea. Okay. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys, I, I was letting that other stuff dry, so now I got kind of involved in this, right? I see that. So, I will put the uh, bucket into the uh, into our store, so you guys can find because it. it is a great bucket. I I have never seen a bucket do it that long. Um, Stainless steel bucket. Well, this is looking magnificent already. I feel like I'm on a different planet. Well, you might be. You never know. You might be. I don't know. I'm just, um... See, everyone wants a cup of my tea. It's a raspberry-blueberry combo. You can't go wrong with that. Well, where do you get your tea, John? I mean, what kind of tea do you buy? Oh, I have, I have some good tea. I have Fruity Pebble tea. Now, that's a great tea. Fruity Pebbles, huh? Mm-hmm. That's my evening tea. I guess I have to put my teeth into the store. Look at that one. That's a good tea. Oh, that looks like a building back there. You can't fool me. This is really cool looking. <laughs> just, I, I don't you know. Just don't, you just, just don't, you can't see what we can see. You're too close to it. I know. I'm just, you, you guys, I'm just sort of, well, I'm having fun with the... Jenny says, Ginger, I wish I was half as squirreled as you are. You're great. All right, so <laughs> that can sit while we th rethink we th it, right? But there's a... I don't know. I'm liking it like it is. You like it like it is? I think the... it's cool. Well, it is sort of the... Linda Sue says, what did the turkey say to the computer? I give up. What? I don't know. Linda, we have to, Linda Sue, you'll have to tell us what that is. Oh, Google, Google, Google. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's cute. That is cute. Well, I was, John was talking about how great his ice bucket was. And, you know, some years ago, they held a contest. Um, An ice bucket? Um, on uh, the, the university held a contest on what was the greatest invention of the um, uh, of the twentieth century, and they invited some different universities to participate, right, and um, and tell them what they thought it was, right. And um, we're going to put this back up. Um, so I know that your the suspense was killing you on this, but we're putting it back up here. All right, so. Make sure you do the right side down. Th theory, this should work, right? Yeah. I just I, I want to make this easy for you guys. If we say we have a traceable for you, we really want to, don't we have to freehand in anything? All right. So here's here it is. Let's let's see if that's what I think it is. Yep. Okay. So what about the college kids? So anyway, um, so they asked the different universities, Harvard and you know, in Yale, and then they had somebody from the University of Texas come, and they were inviting them to say what they thought the greatest invention was of the, um, uh, you know, the 20th century, okay? Uh, didn't really show up, darling. And I think there's just too much paint on, the, on it, right? So you'll have to just let me freehand this in, you guys. 
because they didn't really sh didn't really show up. Um, anyhow, so the upshot of it was is that uh, 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 the you know one guy from one of the colleges forgot which one he he thought it was the atomic energy atomic bomb and you know at, at the base splitting the atom and all that stuff. He really felt that that's what it was, and um, the um, other guy. There's another one, and he thought it probably was the you know genetic code, you know, you know, genes and all that stuff, right? And um, he just didn't see how it could be anything but that. All right, so. Anyway, that's what he thought it was, okay? And then an another guy thought it might have been, so that was him. Then we had those two, right? But they had this one guy from Texas, and he, he thought about it for a minute when they asked him the question. And he goes, dude, it's got to be the thermos. And they're going, the thermos, he says, oh, yeah, he says, because uh, cause when it's, um, uh, when thing, you put stuff in it and everything's really hot, it stays really hot, right? But then you put something cold in it and it stays really cold. And then you and they're going, and why, why is that, why do you think that's the greatest invention? And he goes, well, dude, how does it know? Exactly. I think this is know. something that might have been better off put in with a pen. It's very difficult to do that on this rough with a brush. I All think right. it's kind of cute. Well, I think this the sand is okay, but this guy... Oh, I liked him. I didn't like him. Well, it's your painting. Exactly so. <laughs> Good to remember these things, right? Keep I have to keep reminding myself. Keep reminding yourself. So I could put him in. I'll try it again because I liked, I liked Santa. He's got a little hat here. I thought Santa was okay, and it's not like I couldn't, you know, do a little, um, you know, part of it is you can't, you've got to get the lines real thin, so, um, you know, there's Santa in the sleigh, let's see, let's, let's see if I can't, you know one of the secrets of doing something like this is turn it upside down, do you guys know that? I knew that. So let's, let's, let's try this again, all right, here's the chummy. And here's the legs going like this. And let's try purple. All right? Ooh, then why you... does Ginger let the tech guy steal the show? I guess over 70, this isn't for you. Bye. So, yeah. I guess so, well, some people just don't appreciate who we are, right? No. All hey, right, if you so... don't want me, join the Academy. It's yeah, John it's... Free. <laughs> John Free and the Academy lessons. Not... John is not chatting on any of them, right? So here we go. We got this. Here's the little tail. So we got that, and then we got the back end of this guy right here. Hope that works. Because that's what makes, uh, to me, that's what makes this one kind of fun. And we put all this paint on here, and so that's very rough. The moon is, is really rough. It's all the craters. <laughs> yeah, it's all the craters, right? So let's and it's probably the, the snowflakes were pretty big, too. Yeah. Some of those got pretty big. Yeah, they did, right? They did. They did. They got looked pretty big. And then this, this curled back around. Here's the sleigh. This curled back around like that. All right. So let's see if I got that. Okay. I think we did. Don't you guys yeah. think so? Just, um... It wasn't the best. Now, of course, when you're doing a deer like this, he would have a chest that would come out like this. He would have to have his little chest, and then his his knees have to come out more like that. Like that. There you go. And um, then he has some... I can kind of see it now. I actually am looking at it on the computer. I see it a little better. There you go. So here's his legs. I wonder if the Posca pen might have been better on this. It probably would have been. 
But anyway, you get the idea. That's it. There you go. Maybe I'll do a better job than me when you put yours in. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's, um, I think that's sort of fun. Don't you think that's fun when you put the, the sleigh in the, um, because it really is just sort of a silhouette of an outline, right? For sure, he's in front of the moon. And it's far away, too. So, you know, it's a little, little reindeer tail goes up there, which is cute. And, uh, This is a, you know, this is a kind of nice, I think I make a pretty thin line with this, with this, um, there you go, little line with the, okay, that works, right? I think that's good. I think that kind of works, yes and yes. You're going to hate to put the cross beam in it now. <laughs> go right through the, right through the one deer's butt. It does. <laughs> it does go through his butt. Yeah, um, it does. Um, I know, but. I, and part of me is. Um, you're tempted to keep him, aren't you? Part of me wants to erase that leg right there. When, you know, you can erase with, if something's dry, you know, you can erase the other stuff. See, his knee had to go up like that, had to bend up like a, like a bent bobby pin. Men don't understand that reference, but you gals do, you know what I'm talking about? Kind of a bent bobby pin, have you ever pulled one apart? That's kind of how his little knee has to go up there in front of him. When you're putting, when you're painting this, I have, I have, um, kind of explained all that. There. All right. So that's better. Yes and yes. All right. So there's there's that. And um, I know we've got a cross piece coming down in the front of that. I will let him dry before you do but that. What's going to do that? So what could we do next? Well, um, you know, we have a commercial we could run, and then you could talk about something. Yeah, let's do that because my hands are clean. All right. Let's just take a moment. Your hands that are dry. clean, though. You you will clean your hands during this brief break in the action. So we started off at 3.30, and it's 4.30. All right, we're still okay, right? All right well, let's... it's 4.50. It's so close to 4.30. Okay, so... So we'll be back in, a, in, in two minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, all right. Is and that right? You, what? For, I, I'll dry this. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. We'll be back. Hi, Ginger Cook here. And I know many acrylic artists would look at a painting like this and say, wow, I'd love to paint that. I wouldn't know where to begin to mix the colors. I don't know if I own those colors. And then they stop there. But this is uh, why I have created the Quintessential Color Mixing Journal. Uh, it's an interesting thing when you're talking about acrylic paint or any kind of paint, really, that you're, uh, even watercolor, the same thing is true of. When you try to print out the color, it's never going to look the same as it does on your palette. And this is one of the things where you kind of have to do it yourself. You don't kind of have to. So what we do in 13 hours of video is we show you how to make your own color mixing journal. We show you what the essential colors are, how to use bonus colors, how to do skin tones. There's over 13 hours of video of just us making this book and showing you step by step how to do it. We also compare... Uh, some of the other paints that you've seen us use, the Salvador paints, there's over 24 colors in a Salvador paint kit. What if you run out of one? Could you use our, our 12 essential colors plus the two bonus and get one of these? We show you how. This is, we even, this is a most amazing book in that it keeps on giving. We show you how to not only do a painting like this uh, in a special bonus five hour lesson on how to paint this, but how to use the journal to, um, always have a reference and, and a color mixing guide on how you did this painting for the next painting. So you can use extra pages in the book to keep on giving. And the other bonus thing is too, as we um, continue on, once you own the videos, the tw you know, the 20 hours of videos for this book, once you own that, if we, as we update it, you will continue to have access to the updates. It's like a subscription where you didn't subscribe. Once you own the book, uh, we'll keep doing that. For instance, when we added a golden color mixing class theory with the old world paints and what's the difference with those. So as we get inspired to do more and we add to the book, you can add to yours. This is a wonderful journal. And what's more, it's made by you. How fabulous is that? This is the best set of videos we've ever put together on color mixing. It is the quintessential color mixing journal, the gingercookstore.com. And it's right now available, and it's really a gift that keeps on giving. 
There you go, Ginger. What is all that about? Look what is this, this quintessential this is, thing? This is the quintessential color mixing journal. Um, this has uh, been in the making for probably, you know, 15 years as far as, you know, the <laughs> idea of how to explain how to mix colors in a simple, easy way. And we've got the, the actual book, John, that you can get is in our Amazon store. The actual, well, we have it there. We'll have it, right? Mm -hmm. And... You, yeah, all you the pieces see, will be added What's shortly. neat is we show you how the grayscale works, not just how to make different colors of green, all right, but what they look like in black and white and why you want to know it. Um, one of the things I really like is, did you know that you can make gray without black and all the different ones? But if you were going to make black, what color black would you want? What color black do you want to buy? Mars black, ivory black? What do the blacks do? What What about skin tones? Uh does it matter what you put the skin tone over and how does that affect your paint? There's some, some very many simple things. And one of the things, because we talk a lot about Salvador paints and all the beautiful colors, you saw that tonight. But using our 10 paints that we recommend, 10 paints and two bonus colors, could you make most any color? Yeah, you bet. And at the very end, you know, at the end, we had John try to mix these colors using our essential tin. And here's the four pages of, of the Salvador paints and also what they look like over dark, over white, over gray. So when you're talking about um, putting a paint, for instance, like here's ultramarine blue. When you put ultramarine blue over black, it disappears. Do you see that? Anyway, this is something that I think you're really going to love. And I, I want to show you this because as a bonus, which is not going to last that long, but we're including the two to five hour tutorial for this painting and also how to use this in the book and how to, how to continue to use this book it's, it's the one you're going to do never ending journal it's like 13 hours to make of, of us making the book plus five hours of the uh, tutorial for painting this and then we show you how you can use the extra pages and every time you paint something repeat this so that you start to really keep a record of what you painted and how you painted it. If you have to go back and catch this blue again, how would you do it and how did you make it? This is so cool, you guys. I just think it's the best thing we've ever done. And um, so thanks for letting me tell you about it. I'm very excited. It really is the quintessential mixing journal. And we really, the f first page is that you can, comes with it, but you know, it's a printout, but you can add is what it's about and why do I need it? Really essential. So, so fine anyway, tuning a couple of things. We have the product available right now. It is on a special price, introductory price. I uh, don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah, of, of fifteen. Here's the details. The boss yeah, has them. Fifty nine ninety five, and that includes the the two, five hour tutorial and the book. It's over uh, eighteen hours of video, and it's it it will answer it just. I'm telling you what, it's the best thing we've ever made. It's the most comprehensive, and it's the easiest to understand. It is absolutely marvelous. Uh, the uh, GingerCookStore.com. And we'll be doing, we'll have some more episodes, more things are going to be added to it. As I start painting next year, there's more things I'm going to be adding to it as well. So yeah. if you buy it, you don't have to keep, you, you know, you'll get you, any, If any we upgrade. update it, you automatically get yep. the updates. Any you update, never have to worry about that. Get them. We, we even did, we did a, we've got some, uh, you know, we'll update as we go along. Because, look, not everybody has the same brands of paint depending on where you live. So you have to make the journal based on the brands of paint you own. Try to get closest to the colors that we recommend and see what happens. Because I think you're going to be wildly surprised at how well that works. Now, what you're getting is, is they're downloadable or you can watch them online. Um, the actual physical book, you'll have to buy the blank book and we'll have all the products listed on the website probably over the weekend. I'm going to move this over a touch. I knew you were going to do that. You just couldn't cut his butt off, could you? I didn't want to really cut his butt <laughs> off. If I moved it over, who would know, really? You guys know, but don't tell, right? Don't tell the kids. Maybe we should have put this in before I put Santa in. Um, John, does Ginger do a color study for every painting she does? A color study? We look at every color before we, before she paints a lesson? Yeah, we change a lot of the colors. Will be changed because of the contrast that she has to create. We look at black and whites and all of that stuff, sure. Yeah. So, um, let me put my paints back here, my brushes back. The, uh -huh. the journal is from Amazon, the blank journal is from Amazon. I don't think Dick Glick has it. Yeah. And that's the journal, and we, yeah, and it's, it's really, um, 
it's worth your time to take it because you can spend hours trying to figure you can you can learn color mixing in a way that's so simple you'll never think about it again you just know and 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 if you don't and the thing about the journal is the thing about the color mixing journal is this um you've got uh if you don't remember it's right there because you wrote it in your handwriting that you can read right and you know exactly how to do it. We made it where you could just kind of, if you had to type everything out and print all the labels and stuff, that just becomes burdensome. You won't do it. We made it so you could just use a pen and, and kind of write it in just the way you wanted it. Okay, hold on a second. The second one you just put up? That's where? a highlight. Okay. Did you, did you have a question about my painting? Oh again? my goodness, my queen. Heavens to Betsy. No, I was confused. I was squirreled over here. I can see that. I scrolled myself. I wanted a little bit of a highlight here on the edge of this one because it okay. was in the picture. All right. I just wasn't sure where you were going. Sure. See, you wanted a little bit of a highlight. Oh, it gives it a 3D effect. It does a, a 3D it's effect, the edge right? Of the, it's the edge of the frame. It's the edge of the frame, right? And, um, you know, not to be too particular, but um, there you go. See? Well, we just show you the Queen Essential Color Mixing Guide and video are currently available right now. GingerCookStore.com. That's on the home page is where you find the cheap link. All right, so I'm going to put this right here because I like my ranger. No we are not giving anymore. you anything physical. No, you have to actually. You actually. You, you are going to be the. You are the author of the book. It just. It's the only way it works is that you got to do it. You can read all the cookbooks in the world, but until, until you, you try to make it. a cake, it doesn't help, right? Nope. You know, um, and uh, that's that's why we want you. To get it. And also, it's your journal. Now, look, um, no two paint monitors. Uh, no two monitors on your computer. Are, you know, ever calibrate well, quite the same. Right in front of me right now, I have five different mon one, two, three. I have six monitors, and they're all different colors. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the problem with that. They're all different colors, and so and then you're looking at it on TV, and then your camera shows it differently, and your phone shows it differently. Yeah. Look at that. See. Oh, that is so cool. If, number yeah, I mean, I'm telling you what, tape is your friend, man. People say I, I, people say I can't paint a straight line. You'll, you'll hear them say that. I can't draw a straight line. Well, you no, don't that's to. what rulers are for. Nobody can draw straight lines. That's what rulers are for. You know, when I was a kid, I remember uh, going to summer camp, and there was this old older guy, probably retired. He came up there to volunteer to help the kids. And he was a, came from, I don't know, Hungary or someplace, and he was a... Had been, he was a woodcarver, phenomenal woodcarver, and he could take his hand and make a perfect circle, with, like without a compass or a round thing. I was always so impressed with that, and I can't quite do it. I'm pretty good at it, but he was sort of my inspiration on wanting to do that. Okay, so let's find the center of this right here, like that, because we need a little dark thing right there. So, uh, boy, I'm loving this night sky. Are you, John? Looks like my mic died. Did you get some poison pen letters from somebody and they killed your mic? Some sort of like some Thanksgiving voodoo? You think oh, what's happened? Like uh, all right, so I've got this. I'm doing this again because I wanted a dark, something dark in the center. Yes and yes, a little bit of dark purple, violet okay, color. You're wondering whose mic di actually died? Okay. All right. Okay. So now we've got um, we're going to start with the with the tree, you guys, and we still have to do her hair, but it's coming along, don't you think? Yes. So it's coming along. So let's take some dark. This is the soap green. That's pretty good. Let's take a dark green color and suggest our you know dark Christmas tree here.
and I want to do a lighter wall. I, sh I should have put the lighter wall in. I'm going to just, I don't know what color their wall is, but let's. Well, behind the tree? Yeah, right in here. I guess it could be a light blue, and then that would look like a window. I don't want to do that. It could be, um, what color could this wall be? Maybe a light purple. If they decorated it with purple windows, they probably did, um, they just probably did some sort of mauve gray wall, right? We don't want to talk too much about that. Maybe it's just a sort of an off-white wall at night, right? So we're going to put that in here like that. Uh, let's put more of a shadow here. I want a dark shadow. I'm getting a dark shadow here. There, all right. So we're just saying there's our dark wall right there. So we're not talking too much about it. Now, back. Meanwhile, back at the ranch here, we're putting in the. Um, wait, we got to do this. So, all right. I want to take some white here, and because um, I know I've got some Christmas balls that I'm gonna have to do white first so that they'll show up. We all talked about that, right? And then we're talking about um, it's everything else we can do, but there was a nice big ball right up here that was light. All right, so I'll just do that. All right, everybody's good with me? So you can't, you can't hear, can you read the questions and I can answer them even though you can't, yeah, your mic's questions. dead? There's no questions here. Alright, so if anybody has any questions, it's a good time to, to ask them. And just the soap green is really probably ultramarine blue, uh, yellow oxide and um, uh, maybe a bit of um, burnt umber would be a good way if you didn't have this color, if you're trying to make a dark kind of Christmas tree green. Do you want to see what that would be? But see, even just putting this green tree here, you guys, um, uh, makes a difference. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of yellow here. And, um, You're going to want to thank Luis for the donation, the donation that came in through PayPal. <gasps> who, who's, who, who, Nobody what? can hear me. What's, I want to, we just got a donation in from pay, PayPal, you guys, and thank you. It was Denise? Clarice. Clarice, okay. Clarice. Thank you very much um, uh, for that. And um, we very much appreciate it. And we will do as she instructed. And we're going to do just as she asked us to do on this. But thank you very much. As we're do what I'm doing on this Christmas tree, you guys, is I'm just suggesting different lights and darks greens on it. The, the under color is still there. So I'm just using this little angle brush and sort of tapping on the, the, the paint here. Could, could uh, dry it some more, but I'm just sort of tapping it on here like this. And as we come down, remember boughs, have, if you remember when you buy a tree, the boughs get bigger as they come down toward the end. Remember that? As they get down toward the bottom, they get wider. So if you're doing something like this, uh, we're just trying to do fairly impressionistic tree. Nothing too, nothing too scary, but um, uh, there we go. Something like that. Yes and yes. So that's coming along, yeah. Hey, that's good, kind of a sweet little paint picture, isn't it, now? I'll tell you what, I love the glow in this. This moon just glows, doesn't it? All right, so let's get a little bit of highlight up here on your head, darling. Um, Not green. We don't give her green hair, do we? No, you don't get green hair, silly. Silly girl, no green hair. All right, so let's take a little bit of uh, kind of maybe some red up here. and let's, let's do a little bit of a light highlight up here on her hair. Maybe it's back up here in a braid. Could be in a braid, yeah. Why, why not? 
You don't, again, you don't need a lot of detail. I'm just going to give her a little bit of a red hair. And I kind of like that color here for you on some of your darker color, but let's, let's do a little more lighter gold up here. There, just, see, sometimes you just need enough paint to be able to make this stuff work, right? Um. So her hair is a little darker, but that's okay, and that's exactly what we want. I'm going to come back down here and just make that a little bit smaller. And I think I'm going to... What went here? Oh yeah, her hand is there. And let me just take a little bit of ultramarine blue and make this a little bit smaller. Top of her hand, okay, like that. And then we said that the top of her shoulder Remember we wanted the top of her shoulder lighter? Remember we, do you guys remember that? I remember that, it's coming back to me, right? So we're gonna say here's the, here's the top of her shoulder a bit lighter. The same thing with this gal right here. Let's give her the top of the shoulder a little lighter. And what could we do with you? Here we go. Just one a little bit brighter up there. Maybe a little zinc white to lighten that up. Do that a little bit lighter on the face. Okay. Sometimes the colors, what I've noticed it's on here when I'm painting this is that my colors kind of disappear on me. So you know, it's just never good, but you know, that's all right. Now, a uh, little bit more here with the zinc white. I want something very light up here on the top of her head. Yeah, and maybe up here too. Let's just do something lighter, and maybe we could do a bow. What? What? How about a green bow? Why wouldn't you have a green bow in the back here? What? Why wouldn't that? Um, you have some sort of a green bow back here. Okay, they could have that, right? What if I had a green and red? Um, how about a blue bow? That would be pretty. Okay, so that's that's better, yes and yes. And then we'll put a little bit of the light. A little bit of that on there. I'm going to put a little bit of white on here too because I just want it to be lighter on the top of that shoulder. It's not as light as I want it. All right, so that can be drying for a little bit. Yes? Are you just over there sulking in the corner? Are you still talking to me? John? John? I said, are you still talking? John can't talk anymore, but. Trying to listen, see if there's anything getting feedback. I'm not getting feedback. All right, so let's let's just make this. Oh, now, now I just heard you asking me if I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a little challenging because I can't hear you, darling. So you know, here we go. We're gonna take a little zinc white here and smush, smush it out. Well, that's the next, that's the next big purchase is our sound. We have to be, for, for 2020, we want better sound. Hopefully by Monday, you know, we'll be doing another live show, show Monday. Well, I won't have it by we won't have it by Monday because it's Thanksgiving. We're lucky to get anything, right? But um, let's see, I don't like that color right there. Let's take that off. But um, <clears throat> all right, so we've got this uh, little bit of, and let's see, I want some white in front of here.
And I want, I don't know what I've got left here, but as far as the kind of a little river here that maybe suggested there was a like a river of some kind here with the waterfall that makes its way through the through the woods Let's see what we're going to do here Okay, so far so good. But do, do I have titanium white here? Because it sure doesn't feel like I do. I guess I do, but it sure... You know, I went to put that little building in and you couldn't even see it. So, that's weird too, right? But we're, we're getting there, you guys. So, um... Let's see. Alright, they're coming... Uh, let's see, I wanted my little tiny brush. Where did that go? I've got so many brushes now in the water, I can't find any of them. All right, let's start with that. All right, I'm going to try that building again one more time because it really just didn't... Um, I want a little steeple here. Just thought it might be fun to have something in the back, right? And uh, I went with some little trees up here. We've got some trees coming back up here. They're kind of disappearing. And uh, let's see, we've got a little yellow back up here. And what else do we got here? If they, they can't hear you at all, John, or can they kind of hear you when you talk to me? And you're, you're very sensitive. You're very uh, what? I'm, I'm very muted on your because you can't cut out. Okay, I just wanted to suggest that was in the background. And, uh,. Okay. So, um, I don't know, this was just sort of a, you know, something kind of fun to do. And let's make that smaller here. And I want to come back up here and do... See, I don't think, I think that was, I don't know if any of that was zinc white. I'm going to come up here like this and do some of the snow up here on these peaks. Just don't know why that's not showing up the way I want it. So any questions? People have questions? Anything? So I can't have any birds, right? You limited me on my birds, right? No birds, no tractor. Can I put Santa across here in the sky? Can I put him back? Right, right here. Why don't, why don't I put Santa, right? Just something fun like that, right? Where's a Posca pen? Maybe I could do it easier with a Posca pen.
that's a little easier to draw with, right? So I want it to come up this this way, like that. So the last the little reindeer is going to be right here. Here's his little tail. Okay, and then he's going to have his little chest up here. Very similar to a horse. Okay, very close to a horse. See how this little, little, little much easier with the Posca pen, you guys. I got to tell you. Okay. Let's do another one up here like this. See, we've got a little head back here like this. Now, one of the wonderful things about Posca pens, right, is um, that you can erase them. Did you guys know that? You can't, like for instance, if you were to buy a Sharpie oil painting pen, once you put the mark on, it's done. There. But with Posca, you can go ahead and it'll erase almost immediately. So if you're not, um, if you're not sure, if you, didn't get it quite right. if you didn't get it quite right, don't panic. Um, because, um, You know, it's okay, right? You can, you can go ahead and still put them, right? We'll give you three this one, you know. We'll give you three. I'm using a, a black Posca fine point pen. Again, those are, you can find those at our Amazon store. They're really, um, if you've got to figure out, let's just do another one coming out of here like this. You know, you've got a leg back here like this. And um, there you go. So here's our, here's our, we'll make them all a little different. Doesn't look like we stenciled them on here. All right, so here's his sleigh. And, um, and let's see, we got his hands up here like this. You should just make him a little fatter. There we go. I'm, I'm telling you what, it's just so much easier, right? And then we're saying that, um, There's another one here, right? Yes and yes. And um, let's do... Um, and uh, let's just come up here with this sleigh, make the sleigh a little bit longer. Oh, that kind of works. Does that kind of work? Huh? Yeah, it looks good. I mean, this is something fun, something different to do, right? Can't use that. I don't even know why I keep those in there. Um, there's Rudolph. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rudolph. Come on, you. How can you have a sleigh and not have Rudolph, right? Here's my gold Posca pen. I wanted some lights on in my houses. I wanted to suggest there were some lights in here, but I just didn't get. I made this so small it made it almost impossible to to do that. But you know, I wanted to suggest that there might have been some lights on back here. All right, we've got our little town. So, all right, so uh, again, I think that's kind of fun. If I think of something else to do with it, too, one thing I could do is, um, 
because I used a pen on that, I just might uh, color in the sleigh a little better. Um, I swear I put these brushes in and then they just disappear on me. Did you guys find that to happen? Does that happen to you? You just push the brushes down and you had them and then you don't have them and we spend our whole lives going, where did the brushes go? Here's one. Okay, so I feel like uh, what we needed was um, let's see, what is this? Ultramarine blue. I just need a little dark color here again. It kind of ran out of colors, but we're almost done with the whole painting, and you know, we hope that was okay. You know, hope you guys are having, you know, I hope everybody's um, just kind of having fun hanging out with us. We're certainly hanging, having fun hanging out with you. There, I'm just gonna. That, that I just filled that in with paint so that it didn't look so um, um, you know just you know could kind of you know there we go and then there was some presents and stuff back up here that you didn't see but we'll just put a few dots or something back there so well, I want you to have I, I wanted you to have your presents too right because again um, so somebody would probably want that. Probably could have done a white Posca pen on this too. There you go. That's better. Just took me a while to get that one in. And, um, There's our little snow village in the background. We'll just suggest that there's people that live back here. And, um, ooh, fun, right? Mm. Okay, so back to this guy. We're, we're good here, you guys. All right, so what do we know for sure? We need to put the, uh, the ornaments in. And um, if we're going to do a, let's do a carmine and a little bit of priority bread, and let's make a, bright orange, uh, you know, let's do a kind of a bright Christmas ball here, just a Christmas tree ball, and uh, let's see a little bit of water on my brush on this because it's just kind of everything's kind of dried up. See how much brighter that shows up rather than the curtains because we painted it over white? Somebody asked about that earlier, didn't they, John? Yes, sir. And they wanted to know, you know, what, what's the advantage? Um, you paint over white, it's going to look brighter than if you didn't. Yeah. And, of course, you know, you could um, could do a lot with something like this, but we're just, let's say, here's our, there. The, I'm looking at the photograph, and they had, like, these main uh, decor here. And, uh. Uh, which we want to do, and we've got a really nice uh, the, the academy lesson for this week, which we will try to get out this weekend. Is 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 the um, do you have that picture, John, somewhere? The the, the Russian uh, yeah. Alpine. You know, we're we're still the German the, one. the German, <laughs> the German Russian. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an ortho, it's a Russian Orthodox Church, but it's maybe German. German maybe it may have been Germany, but it's a Russian Orthodox Church thing. And um, I'm going to just put some more yellow out because mine got contaminated. It's just a little cad yellow um, meat. That's not the one I want. Oh, my goodness. All right, just give me a second. Yeah. Just put it there somewhere. I'll get it. Um, all right. All right, here's a, here's a little brighter yellow. That's what I wanted, a little cad yellow medium. So we wanted to, um, you know, suggest some lights on this tree, like so. And um, of course, you know, you can, that's the wonderful thing about being an artist, that you know, you can see kind of where I took this to, and if you wanted to do more, you could. Want some of that light cast it, cast in the, 
in the ball, so that, you know, we might have picked up some light there. You need to thank Sally for the super chat. Oh, Sally, thank you very much for the super chat. We appreciate all of that so much. We hope that um, you guys are having fun with this. And uh, let's have a little bit of a... Um, let's do some light here. Now this is the where, you know, you've got a ball. Let's just do some light highlights on this too. There you go. Now they show up. See, it's, just, it's the smallest stuff. Sometimes it, it's just a light here and there. Sometimes it's a, um, maybe you had, do we have any of that gold, gold paint from last year? Uh, for the stuff. I mean, this is the kind of thing you can do something with where you know, you've got some iridescent colors and maybe a little bit of gold. I want to put some light on top of her head now, like it's that. Like yeah, the, well, the Aztec or the gesso or, well, this this stuff is good too because somebody somebody gave me this for um, last. Somebody sent this for us. Never who you remember, right? No, I don't remember. That, well, not the top of our head, but I mean, if you wanted something kind of iridescent. Um, so sparkly on your tree, just uh, this would be the place to get it. Oh, you know what we didn't paint was the, um, we didn't paint this in here. But you guys can get the idea that you could do something like that, right? Just don't do it everywhere, but just in a couple of places. Let that, um, let that glow. And uh, maybe you want to have half of, a, of, of, of something here um, just to suggest that maybe something else is happening up here like that. Keep that going, but don't talk about it t too much. Does that make sense? Keep it going. But just, there you go. And uh, here we go, like that. There you go, a little bit of light. There, so, you know, decorate the tree. There probably would be one down there, too. So, anyway, where am I with the purple? Yeah. So I want a little bit of the purple on the window ledge right here, like that. And I want it a little bit darker. And I think we were gonna do that there, right? We all we were all we were all in agreement on that, right? That that went there like that. And then what happened was you're going, no, what happened? Well, what happened was then we had this um this garland of uh, kind of Christmas green garland that's on this window ledge that's in here like this because their mom decorates man she knows the deal so she is decorated I'll put a little dark blue in here like so yes and yes and I wanted to make it different than the Christmas tree so I made it a different green. I used the lighter green here, the, you know, so it's kind of a light yellow green. And you could even use some of the, the bright, you know, the permanent green light if you wanted just a little bit lighter than there. And let's just separate these guys like that, okay? And uh, uh, so then you're sitting there saying, what could I do next? You're going, surely nothing else we could do next. We can do stuff next, right? So what if we took some red, remember we talked about that before, what if we took some red and just very gently did our curtains again, just sort of dry brushed it on a little bit, gave it that next little pop on the curtains. People don't appreciate it, but what you've got to do with reds is you've got to coax them into showing up. So that's, that's what we're doing here, just coaxing those red drapes into showing up. And that, that makes it pretty elegant, right? Let's take a little bit of this lighter red vermilion, put that here on her shirt, okay? Um, then let's see what else could we do. Um, oh yeah, we were going to lighten up that hair a little bit. And then I think we're pretty close to being um, finished, John. I think so. I think this was a, a you know, I, again, you could do so much more if you wanted, but... Um, you wouldn't have to either, right? 
You wouldn't. Ha you absolutely wouldn't have to either. And um, um, and I trust that you um, that you'll have fun with this, right? And I want to do a little bit lighter red on her hair. Just suggest the. Just suggest that perhaps there's a. Um, we get some dark here too. Yeah, enter now if you're going to be. If you want to, I'm, we're we're going to be drawing like ASAP on this painting. I just have to um, um, to put the the red berries on the um, on our uh, our uh, trim here, and I, it's wet paint. So I'm I'm doing a Russian roulette thing. I'm doing something I tell you never to do. We're going to go right out of the tube. See that? And I'm going to drop the paint. I can do that. If I don't don't get into the green, do do uh, areas of three, three and five. Odd numbers. Odd numbers, but don't overdo it. And you know, do one. You know, go back into if you've touched wet green, you uh, you have to be careful. You either have to dry this, or. Um, um, be very careful. <laughs> How's that? Dry it or be very careful. Here's a little bit of the dark shadow on this one. Okay, there you go. This Maybe this side's a little darker underneath. All right, so there's our red. Wow, I, this actually, I'm actually very pleased with them, how this came out, John. I think that they, I think this was, um, I like the fact that, um, I want to show you the difference. In this painting, we did the Santa in sort of the, almost in purples. Do you see that? In this one, I did a little darker. And were I to do it again, I would probably have done him in purples too, for the reason that he's pretty, you know, it's pretty dark. But what we could do with this one to solve that, and you're going, oh no, what's she going to do? What we're going to do with this one to solve that is we're going to, you've got to trust me on this, because I know none of you do at this point. Uh, the the uh, vermilion. Say, say I use vermilion on the curtains. I use vermilion on the curtains. Thank you. And this is how you kind of um, just put those back just a bit. There you go. So they're not quite in your face. There you go. Like that, right? A little bit on the toothbrush, that little little mark right there. So. Um, Let's see, I have some a very fine white Posca pen in it somewhere. You're going, why don't you put all those back in the same place so you know where they are, Ginger? Have, have you thought about that? That's pretty good, right? All right, just had to do that. I'm going to sign it right here. So if you want to end, the, you know, we're going to be drawing for this last chance to enter. If somebody wants to, to um, do our little Christmas village here. And then we've got, and I'm going to go ahead and sign the um, uh, this main painting. And then we're also going to be drawing for uh, a, a brand new uh, set of Salvador paints. And before I do that, speaking of Christmas villages, I wanted you to see this. You backed out a little for a bit for John's going to back out for me. This is one of, if you guys like this kind of thing, right? If you like this kind of thing, um, th this is a tutorial that we have in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. Um, you know, and so, some of you said, well, I just don't want to be commit to anything. You know, you could join us for a month, and when you join up, you write us immediately and say, please cancel after 30 days. You know, under 30 bucks, you can make all kinds of stuff. Why not try it? You know, try us for months if you don't love us. Gingerclive.gallery. And I mean, this is this week's, we, you know, four times a, a month or so, we, we, we give you uh, brand new artwork, and there's over 500 lessons, and they're all step by step, and it's just my, it's just my voice, not John's. Okay? So there we go. There's that. Um, that's, there's that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, who said, let's, let's, I'm going to sign this. 
I want to sign it right there with, with my gold pen. That's what I want to use, my gold pen. Where would that be? Well, we had a gold pen. You saw me. This is... <laughs> didn't we have a gold pen? We had a gold pen. Gold pen. Honestly, John, we had a gold pen. Ah, here it is. I put it in the drawer. I think that gold right there would be pretty. What do you guys think? Right there? There we go. There we go. Gold pen. We'll put the red slash through it. And there it is, right? For this. So, here's our Christmas... Uh, what would you call this Christmas window? Christmas window, huh? Yeah, I think so. Christmas window. If you guys have a better um, name for it, you can leave that in the comments below. We hope, uh, let's see, we, we, we're going to be drawing first for um, uh, for this painting first. We're going to draw first for that one, yes? John's drawing, drawing, doing a drawing for that. And again, I want to say, I hope everybody's, I know you had to stay home this Thanksgiving, and a lot of you guys are, uh, would have been with family, and, um, but we think of you as our family. We hope you've enjoyed the time with us. Um, again, this is, uh, uh, my, my daughter, uh, Cinnamon, the art Sherpa, is going to be doing a giveaway, a big, a gigantic giveaway on her show. Uh, today or on Facebook, and um, if you just, and I think the entry, you have to either paint one of my paintings or one of hers to enter, which I thought was sort of sweet of her to include me in it. Um, again, they're very, you know, as a family, even though she and I are not together, and listen, I know this is hard for all of us, but we'll get through it. And John, who won? Winner is from Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, you know, Christmas Village. Terry, Terry, Kenna. Terry Kenneth? Kenna. Kenna. K-E-N-N-A. Terry Kenna. Congratulations on this. I hope that you, that this is a one-of-a-kind Original Ginger Cook, I hope you enjoyed our Christmas village, and maybe this is a kind of our art, 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 art painting uh, from us to you. And let me, uh, where's our, uh, so next we're going to be drawing for the Salvador a paint kit. And give a quick mention to Clara for the donation to PayPal, thank you very much. Claire, thank you very much, we appreciate it very much. It'll go toward a new microphone for sure, for John who can no longer talk on the shows. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we appreciate that very much. Uh, again, um, you saw what we were able to do with with um, and we did fa a fairly large painting. I just want to mention, look at the colors we got in this, and we did this with, uh, you know, I don't think I even used a couple of the greens. We did this with, uh, you know, very little paint. We did a little cute little eight by ten, and you're going to win that. And we we recommend using the tight, you know, professional titanium white with this for now. But uh, this is a neat neat one. So whoever. And remember, when you enter this, the, the Salvador's willing to send this any, anywhere that you, there's mail delivery in the world. So who, who won it this time, John? South Yorkshire, England. Oh, my goodness, that is going a long ways. Well, it depends on which way it's coming from. I guess that's true. That's going to Southshire, England, and we're going to get the name of the person. Isn't this exciting? I mean, that, that we're connecting at this level globally, you know, uh, and, and I, I feel a great connection with everyone here. And, you know, one of the things I absolutely love is seeing when you guys paint our tutorials and uh, when you post them on Facebook. If I don't mention your painting, things get scrolled fast like Santa Claus lists, and I try to like and say, say nice things about the artwork I see being posted. It's always fun to see what you guys are doing. And um, so, I mean, I just, 
and I give shout outs to our Academy members every once in a while too, so you guys see what everyone's well, listen, we're all we're all artists in a wonderful creative time right now. We have time to be creative and I hope you're taking advantage of that. So who who is South England, where is it going? Yorkshire? Lorraine Burke. Lorraine Burks. B I R K S. B I R K S. Congratulations, Lorraine. Congratulations, Lorraine. You won the Salvador Paints. Congratulations. Use the contact us when you Use the contact us to make sure we have your mailing address for both of these. Again, here's our here's our uh, painting with the um, with the two, two two kids in the um, in the window, a sand in the window, and here's a, here's our reference. And again, we'll have the traceables and uh, beginner acrylic academy or beginner acrylic artist um, dot com tomorrow. Should have that in there for you. So I want to thank Judy, uh, who hung in there, and, and, and Mona in Sweden, who hung in there and were our moderators tonight today. And uh, we hope all of the rest of you have a wonderful evening. And thanks for hanging in there. Go say hi. Go to go to go to go see my daughter Cinnamon the Art Sherpa dot com slash no no Facebook dot com the Art Sherpa. Go see her. Go win her the contest. Win something good. Bye. Bye everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Was that okay? I think so. Twenty second spot only takes thirty minutes. Here. One of the features that is offered on our website for and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay. Then, you're, then, then you're I said I could set this on Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank? <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Or? Yeah. <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> our robotic what? <laughs> oh, yes. Is the robot the option of. Let me try. <laughs> it's a robot. Bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic bidding system. Um, to bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. Okay. I don't know how so I can't. <laughs> so close. Almost had it. <sighs> God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie be there with a fire. <laughs> oh, we could never afford this. We could afford this. All right. The, the budget bid for you. And then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but... <laughs> <laughs> By a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger? Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had hard hugs before. Okay. <laughs> Just a little one. I'm not talking about a ten one.